Could you be spending less money at the grocery store every month? My biggest monthly expense, after paying rent and loans, always seems to be food. According to the USDA, the average couple spends about $625 per month at the grocery store. That's a lot of money that we're spending on food, especially when you consider that it doesn't even include restaurant spending. How much are you spending on groceries every month? Let me know in the comments. When my wife and I began our debt-free journey and started budgeting for the first time, we'd go to the store every week and spend around $150. I got to thinking about how, if we could cut that expense, we could put more money toward our loans each month. I did some quick math and I figured out that we could be out of debt a couple of months sooner if we cut our monthly grocery budget from $600 to $400. That would mean a savings of $200 per month or $2,400 per year. So how did we do it? Before I continue, I want to take a moment to remind you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Seeing those likes and subscriptions keeps me motivated to keep producing these videos for you. Thanks. All right, now back to groceries. To make sure we stick to our budget, we use the cash envelope system. At the beginning of the month, we take out $400 from our bank account in cash and put that cash inside an envelope in our home. This cash is only spent at the grocery store. And when we're at the grocery store, we only use this cash. If the cash runs out, no more groceries that month. Time to raid the pantry, which thankfully has only happened once. Our first real challenge was developing more efficient eating habits. We were used to eating a different meal each night of the week, which was forcing us to buy small quantities of foods. This was a lot more expensive than buying in bulk. Initially, we doubled the recipes we were making to have enough food for two meals. Later, we tripled the recipes and did meal prep for an entire week on Sunday afternoons. Meal prepping has been a game changer for both our budget and our time during the week. Another game changer has been using a pre-written shopping list. A lot of times we used to find ourselves picking up extra items at the grocery store because they looked good on the shelf or because they were on sale and we didn't want to miss a deal. Now when we go to the store, we stick to that list as best we can and try to avoid picking up anything extra that we didn't want beforehand. Just like with your monthly budget, planning in advance what you're going to buy makes it easy to say no. The last tip I have for you today is to try shopping at different stores. We were doing most of our shopping at Publix for the simple reason that it was closest to home. We explored some other stores and found that we could get a lot of the same items for a lower price elsewhere without sacrificing quality. Choosing to shop at less expensive stores like Aldi or Trader Joe's has made an enormous impact on our grocery budget. These grocery stores might not have as wide of a selection as others, but they make up for it with quality products and low prices. Sometimes we need to visit another grocery store to get certain specific items, but we're all right with that since we're saving $50 or more each week. What are your tips for saving money on groceries? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.